I designed this clock so I can build this one. Hey guys, Jacques here. I'm finally at the point where I feel like I'm done with this clock. Uh, I made a new face with a different color so there's more contrast. I like it like this. Let's see a full rotation. Files is about 30 megabytes so it's a little bit choppy even at the lowest speed possible. Back view with the escapement. Getting to the side view. Might hear the fan of the computer spinning wildly. And the front view again. So let's see a little bit how I designed this. Here's an example of my early assembly. I have all the gears and I have a basic sketch for the outline of the frame how I want it to be and then I could start checking clearance so here I can see there's not enough clearance so I ended up bringing this gear a little bit further up so it fits between those and then I have the mask master sketch here and if I edit I can show you I use this sketch to place the gears. All the gears are attached to those endpoints. And then I could change this sketch. I'm going to show you if I change this, then close the sketch. Maybe it's not very obvious. Yeah, you can see this line is now down horizontal. If I go back to edit. I'm going to bring it all the way up here and you can see now the escape wheel is all the way up here so by moving around that mask sketch I could explore different ways of placing all the gears so once I have all my gears placed they're placed at the end of those blue lines construction lines I could design the frame around it, I wanted it, pad the frame, and here I have my front frame. Then using this frame I could do the front frame assembly. Now that I have the frame, I could start to add the different parts, minute gear, the hour gear, minute hand, hour hand, support, face, the back gear, the front gear, and the side frames. So that's my front assembly completed. And here I have the back frame, so it's very much the same. And here I have the completed back frame assembly. One more thing about the main gears. Two shafts have bearings here and here. For the drum gear, because there's a lot of weight, so I put it on bearings. And then this assembly is also on bearings. This gear and all the other gears spin on a two millimeter piano wire. Now I have two assemblies, one for the back and one for, for the front. So I imported the front model into the parts of the back assembly. It's here. And then I used that icon to import it into the model assembly of the back. So here it is. A complete assembly of the clock. As you can see, I think FreeCAD is pretty awesome. 
I've been playing with adjusting the time by raising and lowering the pendulum. I'm about two or three minutes fast for 24 hours at this time. Oh, it's getting there. I made this clock, this, <laughs> I made this key to rewind the clock. Ratchets are just gravity driven, that's why I had to hit the clock to unlock them. So now it's ready, it will run easily 24 hours, 30 hours. The drop it's 1050 millimeters for 24 hours. And I could double the time by adding a pulley to the weight, so it will go. Maybe I could get it to go three days with a pulley. I'll try that sometime, eventually. I am very happy with how this clock turned out. It's working good. And now I'm just going to let it go for a couple of weeks, see how it goes, see if it keeps going, and see how accurate I can get it to go. Hmm. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.